Hello, everybody. How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. I got one new book came in. I'm waiting on my next um, Color in Heaven magazine, the subscription I'm part of. I'm like really angry right now at them because um, I should have done the fairy tale special, but you know, because I'm here in America, everything is taking longer. And you know, because it's an English company, it takes longer. So this came within a few days. I also got good news that a couple of things I'm ordering shall come very soon. Um, I was hoping that I would get a pen from one of my diamond painting uh, vendors, but it has not come yet, but it's supposed to come later today. So hopefully that comes later today and then maybe we can show you on Wednesday. But I'm gonna give Colin Heaven till the end of the week. If that book does not show up, then I'm going to say something to them because I think it's ridiculous to wait a month for an issue. And I understand these things because of the of the situation overseas, you know, and I'm trying to be like really patient. Like everybody else got their fairy tale special book. And then I find out the next month is going to be Dawn Davidson's husband on Color in Heaven. Matt Davidson is going to be the featured artist in that Color in Heaven magazine, which I really like. So this one I ordered after seeing May Brock's uh, flip through. This is called Extraordinary Magical Friends from the Imaginary World of Jane F. Hankins. Now, you guys all know that I have a thing for Jane F. Hankins and her books. I love them. Um, it is, of course, Spiral Bound. It's 25 9 by 12 prints of original drawings. So you can tell it's her usual style. Now, May did a flip through of this if you guys want to see it. If not for May's flip through, I would never have bought the book. So this is all May's fault. Yeah, the Miss Amazing May is the reason why I got this book. Yes, we can blame May for this purchase. I think I will do this one. Something tells me I'm going to do this one first because I think it make a good Easter picture. We all know that Grace likes bunnies. Also, guys, I want to get your opinion on something. Um, Marcus were working fine in the book until I went into the grayscale. I'm going to show you that, that I only have two pictures left in this book, but something weird happened, and I had to use my watercolor paint um, pens to get the background on it. It was just very weird because normally markers go down on that paper so well. So I don't know what's going on. Isn't that a pretty book, the Jane F. Hankins one? This wasn't badly priced either. Uh, I'll tell you right. Now, this, I think, was about $20, so I think it was worth the money with the paper. Plus, I like that it's perforated. These pages are perforated, so you can take them out if you want to. Markers work really well on this, but I would still use a blotter if I'm doing markers. Isn't this pretty? May did a flip through of this. May hadn't done a flip through of this, Kim. I would not have bought it. So, and as you guys probably noticed that I had cleaned up my room tremendously over the last two, three days. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of cleaning. I tell you, it's more cleaning than normal. Like, literally, I've taken out three garbage bags worth of my own garbage out within the last two days. And I'm not talking little bags, I'm talking those big, hefty size bags of stuff. So I mailed out Kim and Danielle's packages this morning. So hopefully you guys will get that. That's cute too, I like that. I always like the weird stuff. And that's the end of the book. So. This is Jane F. Hankins. <laughs> Look, if you want to see, remember how packed the, the room was? Kim, remember how packed the, the hold on, remember how packed that dresser was? Yeah, it's now all clean almost. That's how, that's how clean it is. If you're wondering who the pink box is for the, um, that person's getting a surprise. You might know who it's for if you pay attention to Instagram. So then if you look at my other thing here, 
well, that's the diamond painting. Well, if you look at my little thing here, you'll see that this is, remember how much papers and disorganized that was? So well, I literally went through all of this stuff over here. Literally went through all of the stuff, the paper and stuff. So these are coloring books that I'm still going through from last month that I finished. What's on the closet on this, the first two piles there on the ottoman, which is in the ottoman is where I store my diamond painting pens, um, diamond painting. So it has everything in there. So what I did there, the, the first two piles are completed books, but you see stuff on top of it, but that's just temporary. And then you see a bunch of pencils. And then in the other section, you see other stuff in there. So it is a work in progress, as we call it, Kim. <laughs> and you see my, I have my diamond painting pens because last night I was working on um, a smaller diamond painting pen. But what happened was um, they came with these um, bags and I have logged about 158 books so far in my collection. And that's just what I'm keeping for now. But one of the books, uh, this is Mandela's volume three, but I'm going to show you guys something. Um, I had to use a combo water brush. To finish the picture, um, I do have some combo water brushes. Mm -hmm. I'm only two pictures away from finishing this book. It is a lit. <laughs> I like that you said that. What was that there? So I'm going to show you the last two pictures I did in this. These last two pictures, I had such a hard time doing the background in it. It doesn't even look like I colored in it, but I did. I really Um, The problem is my Copics were not going down on this paper at all. I do not know why. I could not get my Copics to go down on this paper when I tried to do the background. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Um, what happened here was the Copics worked fine on the flowers, that they worked fine on this. But when I tried to do the background, I could not do the background. I had to use a water brush pen. And even that struggle. I don't know why I am struggling with the pages now, the last pa few pages in this book. When the markers worked fine, but when you have to use water brush, that's like a whole different story. And it didn't even damage, I didn't even show you, it didn't even damage the paper. That's what I'm thinking, it's got to be too glossy because, but the paper worked fine on every other picture. And then I have just this one, and this one left to do in the picture. It's like, um, it's funny that you say that because when I looked at this, and I'm, I'm trying to do it like the way they had it here, or similar to the way that the photos were, but it's, I don't know why, what is happening because the other paper was done with marker fine for the rest of the pictures in the book. It's just now that you get to the grayscale in it, it's not working very well. Anybody have any ideas what to use when you guys have too glossy of a paper? It is odd. It's just very weird. I just want to warn people sometimes if you get photograph stuff, sometimes that happens. I had to use water brushes, Jim, so it wasn't like I was not, not using water brushes. I have towel trees, I have uh, sprees, I have Copics on the side, some Copics on the side that we can use. Yeah, I put some of the Copics on the side. Isn't it odd? That's all. So we will be coloring from Mandala's, uh, uh, Color It Mandala's Adult Coloring Book Volume 3. It is odd, right? You know, I tried that and it didn't really, I tested that on a paper similar to it. It wasn't working very well either. So we get number 75. Never had that happen with anything before.
Yes, Danielle. Holiday Blue, BG05. This is a Copic blue. This is holiday blue BG05. You know what I did like a, um, a dumb idiot? I'll tell you what I did. In one of the color by number blocks, I was coloring and I accidentally grabbed a brown where the red was supposed to be. So me did this and now the picture has brown instead of where the red is supposed to be. Have you ever done that where you grab the wrong color when you're working with your color by number books? This is three number five. I think this is the cherry pink. I'm not exactly sure. No, I have to cover that blue up again. This is what happens when you don't pay attention. What color should be next, ladies? Paint the rainbow. Yellow or an orange? Taking an orange, not a yellow. F O four. Have you ever guys done that with the color by number book? It's supposed to be a certain color and then you put the wrong number in.
Really? I was grabbing for a red and I accidentally picked the brown. I try to follow the chart, but then sometimes I diverge. Sometimes I don't like the hair color. My mother says I shouldn't show the color by number of pictures on Instagram, but I know a lot of people like them, so. No, I'm so angry because I'm not getting my color in heavy magazines like I used to get them. Like, I used to get them super fast. Now I don't get them at all. That bums me out a little bit. You know, me and my mother, I made the soup today. My mother's like, your stairs are so dirty. You don't do this. You don't do that. But I'm like, you know, I've been busy working and moving stuff. <laughs> I, I can see that, you know. Like I follow it to the point to the point where it makes sense, and then sometimes I change or divert one little detail. I make it look different. Plus, my shades tend to be darker than everybody else's. I find. Yellow. And everybody knows what color this is. What is this? Acid yellow. You know, and I diverge off the path. I use it more as a guide to color by number than anything else. But, you know, I can't believe I did something so crazy and stupid and didn't file all this. But, you know, sometimes I just don't like to. See, I think they made a little error here because this is supposed to be black. Hello, Cindy. I think they made a mistake here where it's supposed to be black. So that's a misprint. Interesting. Green. Emerald green, G05. Michelle here. Hi, Michelle. You know, when I started doing my Copics, I didn't have a whole lot of Copics, so.
you know, I built up my collection slowly. And someone says, well, the way I'm doing it is stupid because it would actually be cheaper to get it as sets than. But even if I did that, I'd still have to buy the extra clothes I need, you know. So, put my sprees down that there. So this is six or nine. The sprees, I can never tell. But I got another set of them because I like them so much, so. Oh, that's fun. That sounds like you had a fun time, Michelle. Well, I, you know, everybody goes when they feel comfortable to go, you know. It's it's also about feeling comfortable to go. You know, not everybody feels comfortable to go live. Like. Number 73 in the Tau Trees. Now, someone was saying that they don't like the, the sprees or the Cali ones because they're too clunky. So if you have a problem with clunky markers, may I recommend these? These are the Tau Trees. They are actually very budget friendly. They're thin. So if you have a problem with the thickness of markers and like something a little thinner, I highly recommend the Tau Trees because they're a thinner marker. Only thing is they go out a lot faster than the Cali Arts Breeze from what I've heard. I've already used up one of the Tau Trees. Keep that in mind, but I'm an excessive user, so. Five.
So we're using the red again, number five. No, you guys don't see me doing these too often, but I'm doing them more now. And this month, I seem to be getting back into my group. I've colored about from 22 books so far this month. So I think I got back into my group a little bit. But you know, there's always something that, you know, I sort of fast and furious every month and then Boom, I come to a crash or some picture causes me to come to a crash or something happens where I'm back in. Some of you may be asking me who the pink box is for, but it, that's going to be a surprise to that person. That person doesn't know they're getting it. There's some books in there for them and then there's also some uh, other goodies in there. Some sets of pencils in there. I even included drawing pencils because I know this person likes to draw so I gave them a set up for a couple of drawing pencils that I got in a old uh, box so I know this person likes to draw so. This person will really like it. Hi, Dan, how are you? Last night I watched the new series on HBO Max called The Nevers. It was really interesting. What it is, is it takes place in Victorian London. Um, but it's about these people who have different afflictions, different abilities sometimes. And they're called The Touch. Because they've been touched by some weird anomaly, so... And it's really good. Thank you, Dan. I was kind of like tossing and thinking about what I would do today. You know, because tomorrow we're off because we have to work tomorrow. So, like, okay, if I have to go to work tomorrow, then I do this. Then I do that. God bless you, Danielle. I could not do that. Blue, holiday blue.
Danielle, I think you would like Mandela girls by uh, Grazia Savo because they're Mandela. They're like tattoos on the girls and they're really nice pictures. I think you would like that book. You can get it on sale on Amazon. It's a really nice book. Written really nice paper that you can use your markers on. Never heard of this book. I think you would like the Grazia Salvo Mandela Girls. The only thing that I do not own by Grazia Salvo is um, Wild Soul. Not that it's a bad book or anything, it's just. You know, we might not be on very long. I might be only on for an hour today. No, we gotta pick. I gotta pick a picture in worlds within. Uh, um, the Grazia Salvo. Here. I found it. I also found this, guys. I was looking for this. I'm so happy to find this cover minder because it's one of my own, my first cover minder. Look what I found, my little Pegasus cover minder. When I was cleaning up, I was so happy to find this little cover minder. You guys don't even understand how happy I was to find it. So this is the Grazia Salva Mandela girls. This is what they look like. This is what I colored. This one, I, because I didn't put the blotter page down. Now I have to do this all in dark colors to cover that up. See the faces have all mandalas and then flowers in them. This is another one I did. This was the very first one I did in the book. You'd like this. It has like the paper from the Christine Karen one. Not a lot of money. You'd like this one. You would like this one. Hey, May. You know you enabled me, Miss May. Yes, Miss May is here. And she is the reason for this book. 
<laughs> I showed this book at the beginning. You're the reason for this. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you and Mabel. You and Anne. Well, Anne is no longer an enabler. So we can't call Anne an enabler anymore. Between the end of March and up until now, I have given away 22 books on, on the channel. With four more going out to a certain someone. I'm not going to tell you who it is. So I have done that. F04. No, and I made the joke to my mother. Well, the good thing about having lots of books to pull them from is I don't run out of things to show people on the stream. <laughs> I love this guy. I love a little funny green. Well, this is Copic Sprees and Tau Trees. And that red happens to be number five from the sprees. Purple, yellow. Cow tree number 73. brain at the bottom. Oh. <laughs> no. I don't like using the wheel. I only use the wheel when I have to use the wheel, but I do have
You know, it's not for Miss Ann. I would never have gotten town trips. I'm going to miss Miss Ann because she recommends some great products. Number six. This is number six or nine. Last night I was working on a diamond painting, one of the smaller ones, and I, I suddenly like got some pain in my hand. I'm not sure if it was from coloring, diamond painting. All the other crazy things I do, you know. But I colored a lot of pages yesterday, so I think I may have just been like crazy. So is your brother home with you or no? Right now.
I don't like cheese on my burgers. Now don't kill me, Michelle. Red. Mandel is a fun to color, right, Michelle? 75. Green. Yellow, acid yellow. F O four. Yellow. Green. I almost brought out a Camellia book, Camellia Andrikova book. I was seriously thinking about doing one of hers because I hadn't done one of those. Really? I haven't thought about those in years. Michelle should know what yellow this is. This is Michelle's favorite yellow. Red five. Seventy-five. Oh. 
How are we guys looking? I don't understand that. Uh, Geo five emeralds. F04. So what book would you like me to work out of, guys, if I have it? Because I don't have every book. Remember that. Anything you guys would specifically want me to color on out of one live stream. Like something like um, Hannah Calls In. Like a Tillsman's. That's the Facebook. I'm good trolley. Okay. I'm sure I have something of trolleys. I don't have the new one yet, but I'm sure I have one of the other ones. We could work. Okay, Danielle wants Fragile World. I don't have Fragile World. <laughs> Gosh, now that I said that, someone's going to buy that for me. <laughs> Pass of yellow. Do not try for me. I don't have fragile world. Emerald green. <laughs> Here's the thing, Miss Michelle. I don't color animals. I find them hard to color. I shouldn't say I don't color animals. That's not true because I do color from the the um the Igusa. Igusa. Uh, the who's that Japanese artist? The rapper Sid the in the forest guys. The Kanuko Igusa. I think are the only animals I color. I find coloring animals very hard, May. 
If they're not grayscale, I find them hard to color. And now watch, she's going to go, you don't have any Tim Jeffs books, right? Nope, I do not have any Tim Jeffs books either. <laughs> uh, birds. Okay, what I do color as far as animals go. Okay, I'll color them in. I did color that bird that I was afraid to color in the, the, the Takushi book. I dream daydreams. There's a picture of a girl with an owl. I did color that. That was grayscale. So that was an exception to the rule. There are always exceptions to the rules. You know, for a long time, I wouldn't call a Mandela's lie. <laughs> I practice enough in the Kanuko group. <laughs> I know when I got when I first got it, I was like laughing my ass off. Then you know, real life is happening. So I thought someone else would like that book. I thought it would be funny. Hey, would you like me to do something in the Kanuko books? Let's go. <laughs> Unless you guys wanted me to call it something from Worlds Within Worlds. Listen, guys, if we don't finish this book, today, if we don't finish this, then we don't finish it on camera, but we'll try to finish as much as we can. Yellow. Because that's on my top 10 list to uh, finish. A lot of us did this hashtag this year, May. Uh, top 10 books to finish. I have a list somewhere. Where's my list of top 10 books that I would like to finish this year? And when I've done... Okay, here it is. Here is the top 10 list. It's not a very good list. My printer started being bad. Fantasy and Nature Coloring Book by Aaron Ewer. Creative Haven, Steampunk Fashions, Color at Blissful Scenes. Slavic Beauties, Worlds Within Worlds, Tillisman's Magical Beauties, Book 3, Color in Heaven 2020 Calendar, uh, Classy's Princessa, Mermaid's Grayscale Budget. And this month I have colored one in Steampunk, and we did that Steampunk Live, one by Christina McAllister. So you guys see, I keep everything in list. I have a, I'm a list girl. FO4. I have logged in 160 coloring books. And I'm still nowhere near done. Because I still got to get the first shelf done. But that's from what I've taken off the shelves. And what I remembered offhand that I have.
I have a lot of people that want me to do the Kirby book. Okay, so you guys, next time we stream, want me to do the Kirby book. Okay, we can do the Kirby book. Those are nice, but I try to vary what I do because I don't like to stick to one thing. That's why I don't do theme months as much anymore. Theme books take a lot of time to, you know, theme months take a lot of energy out of you. You got to have enough books that you can do a theme month. Geo 5. Oh no, what happened? Were they bad? See, this is why I don't buy the budget pencils. Oh, I'm sure it was just a packing mistake. Did you tell Amazon? Usually Amazon will send you the replacement and let you keep the crayons. Do you know Amazon's pretty good? I'm sure it was just a packing issue. I haven't had that happen in a long time and not get the right thing I ordered. Five. You know, when I first got into the color by number books, I didn't think I'd like them. Same thing for Mandela's. You know, I started off with a few men, one or two Mandela books, and now I really started to like them again. But, you know, you start to color people and you're like, ah, I'm sick of coloring people. Don't get me wrong. I love coloring people. But sometimes you get, ah. Seventy-five. They set you the same set over again. Oh Jesus! I guess if you wanted the cray art pencils, you would have asked for them. Crazy ass people. Yellow, acid yellow. She, I think a lot of you want me to get Cratchit World. Here's the truth. If you guys really want me to do Cratchit World, someone should get me Cratchit World. <laughs> Just 
just saying. You really want me to do it. And remember, I'm also downsizing a lot. And I'm also almost done with East of Bliss, so. Oh no. Animals are a weakness for me. Really, they are. Well, someone goes, well, but the world has animals and you do that. I go, those are different animals. Those are not. And for your information, I do have anamorphia by Kirby, so. Oh, my niece has got the books that I sent them, and they love them. The baby was so funny with her tongue out when she got them, like, oh. So, I, yeah, my brother named his children Hazel, Aria, Fonseca, and this other one, the young one, he named Sia Ray. So when you hear me refer to Hazel and Sia, those are my nieces. You know, I'm not allowed to show pictures on stream because that's, you know, my brother doesn't like the kids to be featured that way. So those are my brother's kids. So I understand why I don't show them. Ren, how long have we been going? Okay, good. We're making good time. This is the tricky part. The bottom, the top part is the tricky part, and the bottom part is the tricky part. And I do not have any books by Tim Jeffs. I have no books by the Belbo family. So think about that, guys. Geo 5. That's really nice that you guys can enjoy that together. I hope one day when this is all over and the um, pandemic comes to an end that I can visit my nieces in California and then sit down and color with them. That would be something nice to enjoy. And I'd get my brother to, take, to do a photograph because he's a pretty decent photographer. Yeah, I have no Tim Jeffs. I have no Tim Jeffs.
have a pink box on my bed. Um, that's going to go out later in the week to someone. Some very lucky person is going to feel very happy when they get it. I'm not telling you who it is, but they're going to be very happy if they get it. Included a few sets of pencils, small sets, and one bigger set. So then we do the purple, 75. This is the part that I don't like doing. I don't like doing these. Uh, like I like doing this ones that circle in the center, but I don't like the other stuff that comes around it. But I don't mind it either, you know? Make sure that I have that all in purple. Red five. I always see people do really stunning work with them. <laughs> really, I don't. I've seen people do some beautiful work on the tin Jeffs. F04. I wouldn't know, Mary, because I don't have Tim Jeff. Orange, F04. Why wait? Red. Yellow. F04. Purple 75.
không biết rồi Get the blue down there. Blues are always nice. Copic has a really nice blues. So red. Seventy-five. Yellow. Green. Then Red five. So you see how the colors all come together. Go four. That's a yellow. No, I didn't think these co these colors would work. Sometimes the things that surprise you. Colors that work together. Red
Green. Blue. Green. I like the way the colors work. I think that's purple, purple, I remember. Nev Toe, don't you mean me too? Those stupid typos, right? They always seem to get us like, I hate you typo. Red. Then we just got the bottom part to do. After we did that. No problem, May. You walk your dogs, especially the one that meows a lot. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the dog. That's the cat.
can tell I have some markers on my hands. That's okay. We'll wash it off later. <laughs> Your cat certainly does act like a dog. Apple four. It always is that way, you know, you find a place you really, really like to eat them and then they're like closed. You're like, oh, I forgot today they're closed. Why? Yeah. Um, can someone, um, excuse me, can sh someone lock that? Can someone take that? Thank you, uh, whoever did that. That That's not appropriate in this stream. I'm sorry, but you, your hateful stuff will not be be tolerated here. That's very hateful. Thank you, Kim. We do not tolerate that here. We are not going to put up with that. That's not a, an appropriate thing to do. I don't care who you are. That's not appropriate. When people, when we get these people in the streams, guys, please just hide them. It really upsets me when we get people like that in this room because, um, you know, I can't do anything about it, but it's really not an appropriate thing. I don't think that was uh let's just leave it alone, Kim, for now, okay? I don't think Danielle meant any offense. Let's leave it alone. Put the guy's blocked. We don't have to deal with him. End of story. Let's move on. This, this troll has caused problems. I hate people like that that do nothing but cause. They come in here and then they cause all kinds of problems. I 
hate people like that. Thank you, Mods, for blocking that guy. He was being, well, we're not going to use the word, but it was very offensive. Coming in here with that uh, name was offensive enough. I don't use those terms. I don't use that language. I, I don't like that word. That, that word's very hurtful when you understand the cultural significance of that word. I don't like people using that word at all. It's it's not a nice word. I've had a lot of people who've told me how insulting it is to be called that word. Well, a lot of times we don't understand 
why people get upset about that word being used. But, you know, when you have a lot of friends, green. Red, five. You know, there's always going to be these idiots. That's just how we deal with them. Okay, I think we have finished the picture. So for one little thing, I missed one little part of it. Okay, so we have now finished the mandala. <laughs> Why is your cat being silly? I think we have finished the mandala. No, I'm not, I'm not going to put a border around this. I'm going to leave it as it is. Because I don't think it needs it. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So I don't think it needs it. So this is what we've done. And this is out of color it. Somebody said that I had the wrong copy of this book, that it had some duplicates in it. And that's okay. You know why? Because that means I get to do those pictures again. But I can do them differently. You know, Mandela's can be different ways. So by the time I found that out, it was too late to tell Amazon about it. So I decided I'll just take the book as it is. So we did three Copics, four sprees. One tau tree. These are the thin markers. Now, if you have a problem with a thick marker like this, or even something like this, which is thinner like a Copic or this, I would highly recommend a tau tree because it's a thinner marker and you can get in just as fabulous. So, you guys said worlds within worlds is what you guys would like me to color in next. Okay. What pencils? Would you like me to use the worlds within worlds? Think about that. So this is where we will leave off. I will take a photo of this and then I will post it to Instagram probably tomorrow or later tonight. So I hope you guys have all enjoyed the stream. Um, tomorrow there will be no stream because I am working on Tuesday. So there will probably be a stream on Wednesday. So I hope you all have enjoyed this enjoyed this stream today everybody stay well stay safe remember to wash your hands social distance and uh remember to uh wash your hands wear your mask stay safe and when it's your turn to get vaccinated get vaccinated bye everybody